Hi everyone, I'm Chef Leroy and welcome to my cozy kitchen. Did you vote today? I voted. Did my duty. Can't complain if you didn't vote. So there you go. Anyway, that's my political speech for the day. So today's day two of week 12 and we got some stuff done today. So let me show you what they did right after this. Okay, so they got the rest of our backsplash put in, this other side right here. They took all these little tabs out and then they took all that blue tape off that was all markers just to make sure they knew where the exact tile was going and then the little spacers keep the tiles apart so they get the grout in. And our grout is going to be, it's called Night Owl and it has uh, quartz, it's quartz filled, I guess. So. I can kind of show you this guy here. So the grout will be dark in color, but it'll have this sort of sheen or sparkle to it. So this is that sample piece that we had. I think it's going to look pretty sweet. So what else did they do today? Well, we had the plumber come by. So let me show you what they did. All right. Plumbing was worked on today. So faucet was hooked up. This is our drinking system here. That's not ready yet until they get the, they have to have the refrigerator line hooked up first before they can put them together because they both come off the same system for our water drinking system. But check it out. We have running water. Woohoo! Look at that. Awesome, awesome. Just got a little switch here, switch them both back and forth and then we can come down and use the little cord guy to move it around. So that's our, we have running water in our kitchen. First time in 12 weeks. We got these cool little basket inserts that go in here too. I'll show you these. This is to protect the bottom of the sink. It's got rubber bottoms on it. So if you drop a pan in there, it won't scratch the sink up. And then this is a strainer basket. I don't know how much we'll use this, but you know what? We got it, so we'll use it if we can. Anyway, let me show you what the cupboard looks like underneath where they put the all the plumbing in. I'll show you. Okay, I'm just gonna hand hold my camera because I can't get my tripod low enough. So that's what everything looks like underneath. That little hole on that side there on the right side is for a tube. And I think the electrical for the dish machine. I'm not sure how that's working out yet. And then this little guy here is where the dish machine drain goes to. But we have all new copper. Everything's looking beautiful. So there you go. All new plumbing today. That's what 12 weeks gets you. 12 miserable weeks in the basement mop sink. Okay guys, that's a wrap on today's projects with the house and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of my personal situation with boxing, cooking, my cozy kitchen. Well, my, my cozy kitchen is an invention of mine to just kind of get into the whole thing of cooking with you and, and uh, people that are interested in that part of it. Uh, the other part is I am Chef Leroy and I've been in the business for well over 40 years. And thirdly, boxing was my sport as an amateur when I was younger. So back in the 80s and that time frame, late 70s, 80s, I was boxing as an amateur. And the affiliation I have with Rice Street Old School Boxing Gym is Mike Evigan who owns the gym. And he's a former amateur boxer and professional boxer as well. He was also a champion as a, a professional. So that's my connection to Mike. Him and I have known each other for many years as well. Um, he was at the Rice Street Gym. I, I boxed out of the White Bear uh, Boxing Gym in uh, White Bear Lake, Minnesota. So that's kind of our connection with boxing. That's what I'm trying to contribute back to them by doing the videos, doing photos for them. I think it's a good way to give back to the community. It's great for kids even adults as well. We have a lot of different people from uh, different age groups and ethnicities and everything else down there. And I think it's an extremely great sport for you. And guess what? Boxing can be as much contact as you choose to be. 
So you can either hit a bag, you can get in the ring, hit somebody else. You don't have to do any of that. It, it can be as much of a contact sport as you choose to make it. So that's one thing I would give you about boxing. And that's something I've always liked about boxing is you can take from it what you need for you. Okay. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like the channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, give me a bunch of likes and comments are great too. I'll try to respond to your comments as I see them come by and you guys otherwise, Chef Leroy and out.